So you, you take this charge. Yeah, I take it. And so now you enter what some people may call the belly of the beast. Mm-hmm. You, you get in. What was was prison, when you look at the experience, is it as worse or as bad as people paint it out to be? Or is prison based on your choices depends, your choices make it as good or as bad as it is in that? It's both. It's mm. both. But it also depends on the conditions that you're in in the prison. Gotcha. Also, what prisons that you're at, you know what I mean? See, okay. I was blessed. I didn't have no priors. I didn't have no points. I didn't have nothing like that. So I was blessed to go to a camp. Gotcha. You know what I mean? A camp, nigga, that's like daycare. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? You do whatever you want in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really in prison. But if, if you was behind the fence at a low, you know what I'm saying? That's a little better. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, it's not, it's not a camp, but it's better than being at a max or a pen. You know what gotcha. I'm saying? Where it's like, nigga, you really got to defend for your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People... You when they start high, they work their way down. People pray to work their way down till they can get to a camp. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I, I was in that bitch. It was niggas who was gone uh, twenty years and they just not getting to a camp. You Damn. know what I'm saying? Like the, you got to work your way down. You got to stay out of trouble. But how that shit is? It's it's, it's so segregated and so uh, man, it's organized, bro. Gotcha. It's organized. So it's like, like I say, it's 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 it's. It's it's your condition of your prison and where you at because you can be in some spots where nigga it is what it is. You you either ride with us or you get sent up top. So you know what I'm saying. So now you you in this camp you're you're away from your family. So and and then you and your wife end up splitting up while you was in prison or this is at after, after you came home. Nah, well shit. I guess we was gone before I went to prison. I ain't uh. know <laughs> <laughs> shit. I found out. I found out through one of my side bitches, man. They hit me on the hey, straight up, dog. Cause look, I, I'm on some square ass shit. I ain't on no square ass shit. I'm just on some like, man, dog. I done fucked up. I had this pre trial. Cause what really fucked me up was the, I, I got to get out on on, on the PR bun. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So when I got on that PR bun, uh, everybody everybody shunned me, bro. Nobody would pick up the phone when I got out. It was like, oh, that nigga rat. It's like it hurt me in the heart, bro. Because yeah. it's like I got I got over a couple hundred thousand out here. Dog. I mean, I. I got stuff in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I knew when I knew they was coming. You know what I'm saying? I got everything away from me. And I'm I'm trusting these people, you know what I'm saying? And uh when I get home, man, everybody cut their phones off, bro. Damn. I couldn't find nobody. I'm like, ooh, we had hurt. So now I'm stuck. Except it's two of my partners, they stay 100. They know who they are. So then I end up um having to um be it wasn't nothing but me, my wife, and my boys. And like, nigga, that was the first time in shit, seven, eight years that I actually was at the house sitting down, like my kids coming in from school and actually seeing me, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Like, I, I would never, I didn't, I was gone, you know? So that was like the best year of my life. So I'm like, you know what? This is what I was supposed to be doing the whole time, man. Just being with my family. I was I was broke, I was doing bad, but I was happy with my family. So when I went to jail, and then and, and that's another thing, all the hoes, like all the, all your friends, all the hoes, all, all them disappear when you ain't, you ain't, we ain't going to the club doing this and throwing this and right. we ain't doing so I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? I can't help you with your light bill, this my all that type of stuff. So they stop coming around. Then I ain't smoking because I'm on papers. Right. So now I ain't, I ain't I ain't just free smoking with you now, you know. So they back they self up. So this was a blessing though. This was a blessing. Only way I say that because by the time it was time for me to go to prison, I didn't have nothing. I was already hurt. So it wasn't like I was finna go to prison. Then like, damn, my partners ain't picking up the phone. My, my mom, they had did that while I was free. So I went to prison with the mindset, nigga. I'm in this bitch by myself. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? But. No, uh, you know, shit. But my, my one of my side bitches ended up hitting me like a year before I got out, dog. Like, blah, 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 blah. You baby mama. Blah. I'm like, God, that shit killed me in there, fool. I ain't gonna lie, boy. If you ain't never felt no pain, you feel that pain in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, man, it's a blessing and a curse because it made me, you know, it taught me, you don't know what your body can go through. You don't know what you can go through until you go through it. And, Shit, nigga, I'm strong than a motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? To get a baby, to get out, touch down, and see what these motherfuckers are doing, and be able to smile. That's real. And say, God bless you. You know what I'm saying?